What's up guys? Today we're going to go through the wiring harness. Now I bought a whole heap of parts. Now as you can see I've got this breadboard or development prototype board which has some rails on it. I'll show you that in a minute. We're going to fit that in this clear box uh, or it's a clear lid but we've got the connectors which are going to take all the inputs from our sensors and then we've got a power plug as well so we can run the 5 volt uh, lines into it. Um, Sensors will come in from one end like that into the board and will attach onto the board and then we can go down into the actual monitoring equipment from there. So the power cable itself, I'm running this, uh, I think, believe it's speaker wire that I've got lying around, but it's a nice thick size copper, so power is going to be good. Now, once I've set that up and connected that, I've got the power connector there which will be sealed once it's all screwed up nice and tight on that actual board or the box. Now, I did cut a hole out, which I changed the position later on. Now, as for that prototype board, you can see that there in the background, I've got the positive and negative leads running into a couple of those rails. I then soldered those rails into the actual, those jumpers in along the actual board that way i can then plug one end that'll go off from the sensor itself into it and then the other that goes to the actual monitoring equipment underneath uh, in the bottom of the scrubber unit i know it kind of looks a bit complex but in this way it's easy for me to chop and change things if i need to and potentially if there's a certain sensor that doesn't run off 5 volts, it might run off 3.3, I can use that uh, pin for something as a different voltage. I also created the plug to this ribbon cable, which has those little pins on the, or the female pin sockets on the end. I didn't show you how I actually sold this all together because it was a nightmare. It took forever to do, so I'm saving you the pain of just skipping forward and showing you now that it's done. So that ribbon cable I then install onto the box and goes through that hole in the side and kind of looks a bit like this. So I'll be able to then run the cable direct into that socket, which runs into that prototype board, um, just like this. So I added all of those wiring components uh, from the last wiring harness video I did. Um, that goes to the plug, which you'll see in a minute. I'm just threading it all through. Um, so basically, in the bottom section, there'll be the plug that connects together the main sensor board and all that monitoring equipment. The signal cables and power cable runs up through all these different ones and will basically go uh, to that distribution board or that breakout board, whatever you want to call it. And then all the sensors from the top will connect into that. So I don't have to run sensors down through that tube or anything like that. Or if I add more sensors later on, I've got ability to just plug in another sensor. Um, there's no need to then open up um, that tubing, which I'm going to have to seal off in another video. Uh, and yeah, so that, that leaves me with a bit more extra room in future uh, for more sensors, which I've actually been looking at a few more different things to add to this. It's just growing, which is good in one way, but uh, obviously takes a bit more time and more videos. So make sure you like, subscribe, keep up to date with the CO2 project. Make sure you check out all the videos in the playlist. Now, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.